Okay, so Mishnah Bey's Perak Alf begins Kol Shechavti Bishmiroso. Anybody who, any time that you have, or if I'm in this case I, but it means you know you, anybody basically who has to watch something, anything that you have to watch, Hichshartias uh, Nizko. Basically, you have also validated its damage. Meaning, if you were responsible to watch it and it goes out and causes any damage, then you have to pay for it. Uh, so, for example, meaning if you have to watch an animal or if uh, you're in charge of a pit or something, it's your responsibility and uh, you can't uh, let it damage anybody. If it does damage anybody, the Gemara explains, even if, let's say, you gave it into the hands of Cher Shot of and you handed it off to somebody who's not able to to watch it, to deaf mute, or uh, somebody whose mind is not uh, good, or to a minor, and then, you know, when you give it to them, well, it's, you know, they're watching it, whatever, but you can't trust them, and then they let it go get damaged, well, that's your fault. It's not like you gave it over to somebody who could watch it carefully. So you're responsible. Yechsharti um, v'miksas nizko, if you uh, are responsible for part of its damage, uh, you become responsibility to pay, you're responsible to pay as if you were in charge of all its damage. What's the example here? The Gemara says, let's say somebody went and dug a pit in the public thoroughfare, nine tfachim deep, nine handbreadths. Well, 10 is really the magic number to be able to, for somebody to get, to, to get killed or whatever. So you, you went and completed it. So you just made it, a, you did one tefa, you did it, but you completed it to 10 you become responsible for all the damages, even though you only did part of the, it took responsibility for part of the pit, but the, the, the fact that you finished it off, so now you become responsible for the entire damages. Now, in which case is this true? This is in a case, So if these are uh, things that you uh, are responsible for, if you damage property, property that uh, is not, that me'ila does not apply to. Me'ila is a rule is if you um, uh, basically you know, make what is holy uh, sacrilege. You, you go and you take something that's holy and you make it profane, meaning you take truma that belongs to the Kohen, you take something that belongs to the Kodesh, something that belongs to the Besamigdash, and you use it, not truma, but you, you, you use something that's Kodesh, something that belongs to the Besamigdash, something that's Hektish, and you go ahead and you use it, so you become responsible to pay for it. You're not allowed to get uh, benefit from that. However, the rule is that if you damage something that belongs to the base of Migdash, you don't have to pay for that. It says uh, if you damage Shor Ish, uh, Shor Re'ehu, belongs to his friend, not to Kodesh, not belongs to the base of Migdash. Also, Nachasim Shel Bnei Bris, it's a uh, property that belongs to a Jew. Nachasim Hamichudim, it's property that belongs to the owners and not just is Hefker, belongs to anybody. Well, you say, well, who cares? If I damage something that belongs to nobody, well, who's going who's gonna to come claim to me? Well, maybe you damage something, right? Your ox scores uh, an ox which belonged to nobody, and now somebody comes and claims that ox and says, hey, wait a second, you owe me damages because this is now my ox. Well, it doesn't, you know, if it's after the damages, it doesn't count. It has to belong to somebody at the time that the damage takes place. V'chol makom, and in any, in every uh, single uh, situation, all cases, this is going to be true. Chutz um, me'rshus hamiyuchedes lamazik. However, if unless it's a uh, property which specifically belongs to the person who's doing the damage, meaning if I have an ox, it's in my field, and then your ox wanders into mine, and my ox gores your ox, that's not my fault. What's your ox doing in my field? Right? I don't have to pay for that. So then that, I'm not responsible for that. Also, Rishus Hanizik Vahamazik, or if you have a property that belongs to two people, both the person who gets damaged and the person who does the damaging, meaning, let's say, my ox, we know we're sharing a field, and my ox is in the field, we're all together, and my ox goes and, and uh, you know, uh, chews something up, eats something that's, it eats your flowers, and now you want money back for your flower bed. I say, wait a second, we, we shared this property, we know that, you know, this is, this is joint property, and nobody's going to, uh, you know, have responsibility one over the other. Like we said in the previous Mishnah, when a person does damage in these cases, the person who does the damage has to pay 
full amounts of the damage, arts with the best of the land, meaning with the, the best of, uh, if he pays with property, he has to pay with the, the highest level, the idis, the highest level of property.